Hello and welcome to Midnight Who Extra, the Halloween edition. Yes, so this is our second Halloween show. It's not as big as last year's. We are ambitious. Because we have a bigger Christmas show in the working. Yes, we'll see what that is all about later down the road. Uh, but um, what are we talking about first today on this So first of all, uh, of course, we're both Simpsons fans, and yes. the 400th episode... 600. 600th episode happened to be the Treehouse of Horror, Which and is a very interesting one. They went all out, in my opinion. Um, no, this one definitely wasn't, like, filled with spooks or no. Halloween-ish. I've noticed that a lot with the Halloween shows. But the middle part was a lot of Halloween. Yes, they went more with the idea... Basically, whatever The Simpsons is parodied in the That past. was the 600th episode yeah, I felt instead of The Three House of Horror. But I still liked it. I a lot thought... of people hated it because of that. <laughs> I love the opening, though. You know, the old, the baddies of yes. The Simpsons, they line up, and then, what? Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> just that Maggie just... Yes, as uh, <laughs> as Alex. And the block just... Shroom! That was funny. Did you expect that? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Maggie. No, nope. I definitely did not expect yeah. Maggie to become a mass murderer. Nope. Well, she's killed a ghost, so... And then, of course, they parodied, parodied a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Let's talk about the first parody, which was the couch gag, which parodied Planet of the Apes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> I thought that was probably one of my favorite couch gags of all time. And this couch gag, through some capacity, was VR compatible. Yeah. That yeah. would be awesome. So you're able to, like, you know, VR. That would be cool. I, of course, haven't done that. Because um, we don't own VR because we're poor college students. <laughs> you can make it a cardboard, though. I know. But we're lazy not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we're broke college students and lazy call it. Yeah, two great combos. Um, now, the first big bit was kind of parodying multi-part movies, yes. Hunger Games, and Mad Max, all in one Yes. weird movie <laughs> parody. Well, it was more than just Mad Max and oh, um, yeah, it was... Hunger Games. I saw Waterworld in there, too. It was pretty much every dystopian anything you could ever think of. Yes. Um, it was very funny, though. Yes. Um, I loved how Mr. Burns was still the bad guy. And I loved how when they got to the reservoir, and they hit it, and all the water just came out. And then... We're saved! And then it just, and then it just got sucked up by the... Uh... <laughs> then it just was gone. It was gone in, like, these seconds. Yes. Uh, I thought it was a hilarious bit. <laughs> And yeah, it was just, it was a good bit. I loved how they just end the part one. Yes, part two. <laughs> and um, the kids dying when they yes. died. Do, do, do. <laughs> and then they made some of the deaths so ridiculous like they were in the Hunger Games. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was a very funny skit. And then, the, of course, they could also have been parodying the <laughs> Hungry for Power games. Yeah, <laughs> they were just doing everything because of the political mind. Yes. It was too funny. The biggest thing was the next bit was well, a little bit more on the horror side. In, you know, uh, the best friend, imaginary friend, oh, killing yes. other people. Yes. I actually like that concept. Um, uh, I it, know was my, it, it was not my favorite, though, from the episode. It came from somewhere. I don't remember I what don't it was. I don't know where, but I loved it. It was very funny, and I loved Lisa getting in trouble for it. I loved. You're cool now because you have a date. Yes. If you knew which, if you know what part they were parodying in that, could you comment down below? Because, I'm actually very curious to know about that. Because I need to know. That was so funny. Um, the third bit I felt was still about place. Yes, it did. Um, it felt like they were trying to. Really, I don't know what they were going for, but I loved it. it buried it, and I loved how you know Homer had the scratches. How did he get those? Yes. <laughs> it's the cat. Just. <laughs> yes. And I also, it was James Bond, but a little of the Kingsman. Yes. By Homer and Bart. It was a little bit of that. Uh huh. And Mo was actually a secret age. Yeah. That yes. Was, that, that was hilarious. That was just funny. Um, All right. And the musical number at the end. Pretty overall, it was a pretty good trials of horror. It could have been a little bit more Halloweenish, but it was still a good. Time. So overall, what would you give it? I, I would give ten. it. I would give it an eight. I agree. It wasn't their best by nope, far, but it wasn't, but it wasn't the, worst. the worst. It wasn't the worst because I. Have if you're worst. watching it for laughs, you're yeah. probably gonna laugh. But I think the biggest problem if you don't catch references, you have trouble with that. Yeah, it wasn't that funny if you didn't catch most of the um, references. Because this episode was filled with references. I think every single second was a reference. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, the Treehouse Horror went really well. And I almost feel like it was too short. Yeah, it was fine enough. You know, it's a Halloween show. You kind of have to do short yeah. reviews. I have a question. Are you noticing a theme on this table like I am? Just a little bit, you know, that. You, and... I mean, we have the Ghostbuster Y. Hey, it's 
It's Funko. You know? Okay. It's, it's, it's like a pop. It's kind of creepy. I mean, creepy. of course, there's the movie, the a book, book and, and the... A... Well, there's what's... something in here. Oh, that's never a good sign. Never. Okay. Okay, open it and... Alright, alright. You really want me to open this? Yes, open it. I'm kind of scared, but open it. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Was that what I think it was? Yes, yes. It's... 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 The memories of Forgotten Reviews! Oh, how I missed you, Forgotten Reviews! Ah, another review that we missed. Well, let's do it quickly. Grab them all out. I'll move some of this stuff off this table, you know? It's just... It's just it's gonna... Okay. Okay, fine. Get him. Just, uh, okay, fine. Happy, okay. Okay, so... These Titans. Are actually really, really, really good. Now they are actually one of my favorite Titans ever made. Um, these bodies of all of them are, of course, the same except for some of the paint. And the paint is different, and the names each have their respectful names. So let's see if you can name all the Ghostbusters last names. Go. No way. Zed Moore. Moore. Bankman. And Stan. Answer. What? Well, actually, edit that one out. We can't get our favorite Ghostbusters. Uh, now, the head sculpts are amazing. Yes, they are. Uh, my favorite has to be Venkman, would you agree? Yes, Venkman just looks like Venkman. Um, I do love, I wish though they each had something different accessory wise, that would be nice. Yeah. Like he usually had the, you know, PK meter and the goggles, that yes. would be cool. Um, now, we have something coming very soon, hopefully in the next month. A full case of Ghostbusters. Two? Yes, or there you go. Two. There you go. Ghostbusters 2. Wait, that was a theme. Oh, Sign. Wow. Yeah, creepy. But yes, we have uh, a whole full case of the Ghostbusters series 2. We need to find the money for them, but they're coming. Expect an unboxing of that. And unlike the collector, we won't split them into two parts. No, we won't. Because we're nice. And we'll just edit out the duplicates. But... Uh, also, we should mention that the uh, proton back is nicely detailed. Yes, it is. Oh, and... And you can clip them. And you can clip them onto the... Little things. It's just, we're not very uh, great at it. You know, get on there. Are you See? serious? It's like, <laughs> welcome to How to Fix It with the guys. Um, the glue just broke on this. <laughs> I am not even joking. This is called quality control of them, but you know what, we'll just break it, we'll act like we meant it on purpose, and you just, you know, you just, just like that, just there. That is very sad. Uh, I'll switch, uh, we'll find Garrett's, and we'll take it from him. Yes. So that's it, I'm going to sue him <laughs> for breaking property. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a weird question for you. Yes? Why was a bleeding angel <laughs> on the table? Oh, yes! The Weeping Angel. Why was it on there, you wonder? Yes. Um, to send you back in time for breaking the... No, 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 this is totally impromptu. Uh, because we're talking about Blink. Okay. Uh, Blink is one of, the, apparently, the most scariest Doctor Who stories ever made. Yeah. But has it lived up to that over the no. many years? After you watch it the first time, it becomes not it, even scary at all. It's the same problem with most horror films. Yes. You lose your jump scares. And Once you know what's coming, it's not even scary anymore. It's like, it just ruins the atmosphere for it. Um, but Blink is still a really good Doctor Who story. It has some really good elements in it. Do you agree? Yes. Um, but yeah, I think that's why Weeping Angel. Why were the pumpkins on here? Because it's Halloween. This is a scarecrow on here. Because it's Halloween. Oh. Is this your scarf, too? Yes. It's my scarf. Weird kind this of is, scarf. This is part of my Halloween costume. It's supposed to be a chain, but I'm uh, not very good at making chains. <laughs> oh, we're going to be doing a Christmas carol parody, aren't we? <laughs> um, well, I think that'll do it for the Halloween show. We've already lost our minds. And yeah, right. Proton Packs. Um, <laughs> um, so what can we tease for November? Let's tease November really quick. Um, we got a big series, not really until December. Yeah. Expect, um, we are doing another Forgotten Promise review, finally. We're finally doing the Missing Who series. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, I thought that was missing just like Doctor Who stories. Yeah, 
Uh, we also are going to a very special uh, screening of Power of the Daleks in November. Yes, we are. That'll be awesome. So expect something of that. Uh, what else do we have? Um, a new movie's coming out. Doctor we... Strange, yeah. That we really want to see. Um, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no glue. Um, Doctor Strange is coming out. And also Fantastic Beast is finally around the corner. Oh, yes. So November should be a fun month, isn't it? Yes. Um, but uh, what are you doing on Halloween? Nothing. We have to be in a public speaking class. Yay, college. Yay. We're betting that there'll be like nobody there. We're betting, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we really hope you've enjoyed this uh, Halloween show. It's been kind of weird, but kind of different. And um, it was We're different. insane. Um, yes, we are. Yes, we really are a saint. And the biggest question is... Well, I'm the Professor. And I'm the Watcher. And we'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. And remember to stay safe during Halloween and watch out for the clowns. Yes, because you never know if it's good or bad clown. And the Watcher is going to keep pondering how the heck this broke. See you on the next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs> watcher signing off. Have a fantastic day. <laughs>